Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip smartphone. This is Samsung's second foldable phone and I've been using it for a little over a month now. And so let's jump into it, talk about the good and the bad. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like, and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip and talk about what I like and what I don't like. And the first thing that I want to mention is the form factor. This is nearly perfect, I think, at least for me. I love the fact that it is nice and small and compact when it is folded up. And when you actually unfold it to use the phone, it is really a nice size. It is tall. There's a lot of screen real estate but also because it's narrower than some of the other flagship phones, it's much easier to navigate around the screen from side to side and top to bottom. Now, when this phone launched, there was a lot of talk about whether or not you can open it with one hand, and technically you can, but it's really designed to be a two-handed opener. So when you're using this phone, it's just much easier to hold it in one hand and then just use your other hand to open it up. Now, if you're really in a pinch, can you open it with one hand? Yes, I don't do it technically because it could damage the screen. You have to sort of wedge your finger underneath there to get it, uh, to get it started and then you can open it up. I just don't find the need to do that. Most of the time I'm happy and, and, and comfortable opening it with two hands. So another nice thing, which is sort of a unintended consequence of it being a folding phone and something I wasn't really expecting, is that the phone, because I keep it in my pocket most of the time when I'm not using it, when I hop in the car, I'm not reaching for my phone because it's often in my pocket. Also, because it is a two-handed opener and not a one-handed opener, even when it's in my car and out sitting on the seat or in the cup holder or something, I don't reach for it to try and look at it because I would have to look at it, I'd have to open it to look at the screen, and I'm not doing that. So it just turns out to be a safer phone for me while I'm in the car driving. Now with your front camera, you're gonna get your main and your ultra wide angle lens. Both of them are gonna be 12 megapixels. The main uh, lens is going to be a f1.8. Your ultra wide is going to be a f2.2. You're also gonna get a 10 megapixel front facing camera at f2. So it's gonna be really nice shooting with these, not just in the day, but in low light, because you're gonna have those really fast lenses on there with f8, f2.2, and f2 for your front facing camera. Now for your video specs, you can shoot up to 4K at 60p with the rear camera. The front facing camera can also shoot 4K and then you can shoot slow motion and super slow motion. So at 1080p, you can shoot up to 240 frames per second. And at 720, you can shoot up to 940 frames per second. So you can get some really cool slow motion shots using the camera. All right, everyone, so here we are. This is a quick look at the front-facing video, and yeah, it looks pretty good, I think, and uh, this is the built-in microphones. Now, you have to remember when you are using the front-facing camera or even the rear-facing camera to look at the lens. You can't really look at yourself because otherwise you'll be looking over here off to the side, so you really need to make sure you keep looking at the lens. But there is a solution to this with this particular camera because there's a little tiny screen on the front. So let's go ahead and turn it around and turn the phone around and turn on that screen. All right, so here I am. I am now recording with my rear facing camera. And as you can see, I think it looks nicer. Most rear facing cameras look much nicer than the front facing camera. And because there's that little screen on the front of the camera, you actually can go ahead and frame up your shot nicely so you can make sure that you're well composed and your light is right and everything looks good so that you can continue to, well, look awesome. So yeah, this is one thing that's really nice about vlogging with this camera and nice about the front facing screen. So now the battery is only 3,300 milliamps on this. And for some people that might be a problem, but I don't have any issues getting through a full day with just a single charge. I can go out and I can take photos, I can take videos, I can use the internet, I can be on social media and get through a full day with a 3300 milliamp hour battery. Now you're not gonna get two day battery life as if you were on say a large capacity phone like the S20 Ultra with 5000 milliamps or something like that. But if you charge your phone every night, using 3300 milliamps on this phone is not gonna be a problem. 
Now the Z Flip does have fast charging, but it's not fast charging like some of the other phones. It's only 15 watts, so you know, there is that. You also do have wireless charging and reverse wireless charging with this, so those are nice features to have included. So now as much as I love this phone, it's not all roses. There are some issues with it. And one of the major ones is the price. This thing is very, very expensive. It is $1,380 at the time of this review. After taxes, it is over 1,400 bucks. This thing is really pricey and you're basically paying for the form factor. I mean, that's just the bottom line. You're paying for the flip screen. You're paying for the form factor. But if you're someone like me who wants a phone like this, it's worth the money. So the next thing that I have an issue with with this phone is that, well, it is a fingerprint magnet. It's just, there is no way around it. It's just impossible to keep this thing smudge free. As Soon as you pick it up, you're going to have smudges and fingerprints all over it and it's absolutely impossible to prevent it. Now, this phone is also a bit slippery, so I mean, just be aware of that. Some people have mentioned putting it on their table or on their desk and having the thing literally slide off. I haven't actually had that issue, but it's definitely slippery. So I would recommend probably putting a case on here or something or just being hyper aware so it doesn't slide off of a table. Now, the other issue is, is that there is no IP rating for this phone. It is not waterproof at all. I'm not even sure if it's any sort of water resistance since there's no IP rating. So I would be careful around water. Don't get this thing wet. Don't fall into a pool with it. I might even be careful if you're in a heavy rain with it. So just be aware. Now this last issue is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip does not have DeX. If you've ever owned a Samsung flagship phone that had DeX in it, then you know how very cool it can be. You can plug your phone into a monitor or a TV and basically use your phone as a desktop computer. But the Z Flip does not have that option. I'm not sure why, because from the specs, this phone has everything that it needs to actually handle DeX, but they don't offer it in the phone. And for 1400 bucks, you would think they would at least give you DeX. I don't know why not, but I'm hoping they push it with a firmware update and they bring it to the Z Flip later, but you just never really know. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip smartphone. And I really love this phone. I think it's fantastic. Now, this phone may not have all the same flagship specs as, say, the Samsung S20 Ultra. Some people have even said this is basically a folding S10 Plus. I don't know. I think it's better than the S10 Plus. It may not have the same specs as the S20 Ultra, but I absolutely love the form factor of this phone, which is the reason why I bought it in the first place. It's so easy to put in my pocket. It's so easy to hold in my hand. It's just simple to carry with me at all times. I don't think I can go back to just having a regular phone. I think all my phones moving forward are probably going to be folding phones because the form factor is just so incredibly convenient and wonderful and comfortable to have with me at all times. So anyhow, there you have it. I'm gonna leave links to this phone down below in the video description so that you can check it out and learn more about it and purchase one if you're interested. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page so you can see all the products that I've reviewed over time. And I'll leave you links to all my social media contacts so you can reach me everywhere and say hello or scream at me or leave me a nice comment or just follow me and see what I, what I get up to. So there you have it. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.